everybody. How y'all doing today to our uh, gamers out there? Um, G Force will be holding their next RTX gaming event, which is held on January 12th, 2021. We're going to put that information up for all my gamers out there so y'all could be able to hear what's going on. G Force RTX game on event scheduled for January 12th. Four new games and NVIDIA Reflex. Okay, as you see, January 12th, 2021. At 9 a.m. Pacific time. Alrighty, here we go. In the video, announced the GeForce RTX Game On event today, due to take place on January 12, 2021. The broadcast will begin at 9 a.m. Pacific time, featuring Jeff Fisher, Senior Vice President of NVIDIA PC Business, and as a presenter, Fisher will highlight the company's latest interventions in game and graphics. Wow. The latest rumor suggests NVIDIA will release the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti in February and the GeForce RTX 3060 in January, which means there's a strong likelihood of one of or both of these graphic cards to be announced during the RTX gaming event. As a reminder, the CES 2019, Jeff Fisher took the stage to reveal the GeForce RTX 2060 graphic card and the Max Q laptops. All right, that sounds interesting to all our gamers out there. So y'all go ahead on and stay tuned for that event, which is held January 12th through the 14th. So they're gonna also go ahead on and talk about the RTX 3080 Ti and the RTX 3060. Which I think that NVIDIA should not came up with no more GPUs. But they needed something to go ahead and compete with the AMD's Big Navi. RX 6800 and the RX 6800 XT. Which both those cards are on 16 gigabyte of VRAM. So when they came up with the 3080, it was only on 10 gigabyte of VRAM. So they felt in their minds... In the video, felt that AMD had a little oomph over them, but as all the uh, subscribers who have received the card free by the team of GPUs, they felt that Nvidia felt that they were slightly under the underdog range, and the AMD was taking the thing, but. When the cards were revealed and the benchmarks was pushed, a lot of people was disappointed with the AMD R, the AMD 6800 and the 6800 XT series because they thought that card was going to push a little more oomph and surplus the RTX 3090, 3080s, 3070s series cards. Now the 3080, which dominated, and the 3090 dominated the RT, um, the RX. 6800 and the 6800 XT. Now, for me, I'm going with the big little baby, the RTX 3060 Ti. But they got a, they got the, a little baby coming out, which is the RTX 3050, which is soon to be released at the end of February. So we are looking ahead on to see what's going on with that, and I want to see the cost of the card, and it's a four gigabyte card. And the RTX 3060 Ti is an 8 gigabyte card. So, and the reason why I'm getting the RTX 3060 Ti because it's 8 gig of VRAM and it has the RTX voice. So I can go ahead and cut out all the noise cancellation in the background, which is made by my family while I'm doing my video editing and etc. But Nvidia say they had the answer towards the um, AMD Big Navis because the RTX 3080 was sitting along on 10 gigabyte of the VRAM and the RX 6800 and 6800 XE was sitting on 16 gigabyte of the VRAM so NVIDIA thought that AMD had that little edge but if you look at all the benchmarks that was done on the um, cards NVIDIA holds it NVIDIA been holding it so just like I said to me the competition thing going on between the companies, I could care less about. I think it's a little childish, a little foolish. Just like I tell everybody, choose your platform. 
when you choose your platform you go ahead and pick what you are comfortable with Nvidia users go with Nvidia AMD users go with AMD and you know Intel got Daylo the XC graphic cards coming out next year so I'm looking forward to seeing that and looking at the specs and etc cetera, etc cetera. of course they're gonna be done benchmarking so you know it is what it is I'm looking forward to that and Intel doing their thing because they got their new CPUs coming out in 2021 and in 2022 they're gonna go ahead and launch their new LGA 1700 which is gonna house the new CPUs that's going to support that board and the introduction of the PCIe 5.0 Yes, and then you got AMD trying to do that thing in 2022 for to go ahead and jump out with the uh, AMD Zen 4 6000 series CPU. So wow, I mean the the technology world just just is heating up and it's going strong nonstop. So I'm looking forward to seeing all these great launches in the near future. Uh, right now, I'm looking forward to looking at Intel's. Um, um, release and a line date. I hope that we could go ahead and get the product. I hope that, of course, we all know they're gonna be scout badly. So, just like with the um, new um, RTX 3080 Ti and the RTX 3060, once again, I hope Nvidia figured out the unit situation for our retail stores. Now we know. Now I know that Newegg and Microsoft are gonna be getting a mass amount. And they're going to go ahead and take some of them units for themselves because, as we all know, Microsoft and Newegg does their own custom-built PCs. So, and then they're going to be sending out mass amount of units to uh, NZXT. They do their own PC belts as well, too, so with these cards. So, I'm looking out of hand on seeing them do their thing, putting these set wonderful cards in, and looking out for to see what the customer reviews are on them. So, other than that, I'm hoping that they figure out the units for consumers like us to go ahead on and have enough units signed out to Best Buy. Yes, a raggedy Best Buy in Florida. Damn shame. That's all I can say about Best Buy. Ugh. Damn shame. But other than that, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and y'all have a great night. Peace.